I've been thinking maybe I should head over and see T now. What do you think? We need to know if she's okay. Yeah, I'll do it. All right, I'll let you know. The lock and come in. Guys, have you seen T anywhere? Upstairs. Where is she? The note's still there for her. Coat of armour's well done. Read that one. Read that one. Okay, well we're here so we may as well have a look around, right? Ah, nothing there. Oh shit, this is scary. Jarvis, I did not know what I was in for. I took a potion to make myself smaller for a short while, or so I was led to believe by the vendor. But here I am a few days later, still very, very small. In this size does have it perks though, now I can fit into places I'd otherwise be unable to. I'm going to see if I can find a cure. I think I know a person who might be able to help. Maybe. Talking about that. Okay. Jarvis, found out some information which changed things. Some who I thought to trust wear masks and only show who they truly are later. I think I need to hone my new skills I'm going to acquire. Don't come looking. T. She thinks we're wearing masks, huh? I still serve set, as does the king, but I do... But I do not do so as the Queen does, and I will not sacrifice in Set's name. I have learned other religions, but only as a means to an end. And Set remains my one true god. Is this Jarvis writing? I'm searching for lost magics in the King's lost of the King's lost during his early days of adventuring. He told me of a man he met surrounded by rocks. Rock beings that offered him many choices. He chose a sword. A shaft's razor beast patterned after the creatures that exist in the sandstorm. The sword actually creates a sandstorm around the user, keeping all but the strong at bay. If at all possible, I will recover the sword for the king. May it find, find use in his hands once again. It does fit the description I was given, but I wonder if it truly is the younger daughter of the king, hidden by the king at their birth. The king hid two daughters from the Mad Queen. She was told they were stillborn due to the magic she used. The queen's grief was unimaginable, but so was her rage. Many died at her hands. Over the last several days, Tyena and Nefertiti... Nefertiri... I assume that's what that says... I've been learning from the cannibal Nunu. They both have picked up skills very quickly. Maybe a bit too quickly. I must watch what they learn. Though I cannot stop them from learning it is... Though I cannot stop them from learning it is how they use these skills that matters. Diana hopes that Neff... Oh, that's Neffy. That Neffy would... With her wounded eye. I hope to help Neffy with her wounded eye though it, through the use of magic. Though I'm sure that magic exists, I'm not sure its use won't have lasting effects on both young women.
exiled lands, I come to these God's forsaken land at the behest of the king to seek his daughter as the queen does, but in a quieter method. The queen is turning the whole land upside down to find her and taking over the lands as she sees fit. The king, however, prefers a quieter approach, seeing young nobles and how they have been treated for being threats to the throne. Old or new, the king wishes me to look out for the girl. He also wishes me to keep an eye out for the queen and her servants and see if they pose any threat to the throne. One servant, in fact, was a scout sent to access the threat of these lands. Dorothalian. Dory. An envoy of the queen and a sneaky little bastard. It's often rumoured that the queen used him as her personal assassin, to which I am, in of no, I am of no doubt. Rumours say she died during his expedition, but since nobody was recovered, I have my doubts. His queen has become obsessed with set and sorcery as of late and just before his daughter ran away. His queen has become obsessed with set and sorcery as of late and just before his daughter ran away, he does not think that a coincidence. Today I have found the Queen has set up her transportation system on the river. Boats travel the full length of the river and many small settlements exist. Several large cities exist as well. Kaskemi, Jalata Port and Zamora all in the south of the river. Many live in these cities all of, so of all sorts. I have met a young woman cast out of the southern cities of the Queen for leaving the walls. Her name is Taina. She is a thief. But as long as it serves its purpose I will turn a blind eye to it. Today Tierney found a woman who introduced, who she introduced as her sister, Nephi. She has proceeded to invite her to join us. She found Hyena very quickly. I wonder if all is well. Well, well, well. Any more journals in here that I could read? Hello, Herald. Wow. Why is that protected, I wonder? Okay, well, she's not here. That's T's room again, okay. With four doors. Oh, T's room has two doors. Okay, I'm with it. Okay. She's not here. Where else would she go? She was looking for more information. What? To the assassins. She's already spoken to Dory, but maybe she wants information from the assassin. Better close the door. We don't want thieves getting in. Let's see what we can find in here. Pick the lock, missus. Right, you gotta pick it. Let's see. He is showing great promise. Maybe the legends are true about the magic in the bloodlines. I have found that her great-great-grandmother was the wolf queen, Potema. Great-great-granddaughter of the Emperor... Emperor Uriel Septim the Third. An unknown lineage has led to T. Her father, the king, is a holder of this lineage and the magic it brings. Much of this information was from the king's own lineage before I came to this world. Okay. Wow. Okay. wonder where she could be. I'm going to have to go looking for her. There's, there's no two ways about it. I've got to go looking for her. While I'm out looking for... Oh. What's this? The Wardaker would like to make it clear that no congress with the northern city is allowed. 
the humans are considered enemies of the Triumvirate, and all contact between the city-states is severed. Any slaves caught consorting with the enemy will be summarily executed. Okay. Well, I'm over here looking for tea. I want to check out this place to see if it would make a good place for another city later on. What's that? What's that up there? Go and see, shall we? Do I have to pick this lock too? Seems like I do. Hi. Tiny. You hear music or something coming from somewhere. No way down. So many things to steal. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Could take me a while though. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to rob the place for sure. Wait though, tiny house, loads of magical things, not much space to move around. This could be a dory place. I better not rob it just in case. I can't break the allegiance between the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild. I'll have to question him about it. If it's his place, I'll leave it be. Okay, let's have a nosy around. See if we can find somewhere that would make sense to hide. And also somewhere that would make a good place for a city. It's here's kind of flat. We could have a second free city here at a later date. This could be a good little spot for a hideaway. Oh, sorry, it's the wall. This is the question. Oh, very close. Okay. That would be perfect, no? I think so. Up here looks like it could be good too, actually. Ooh. Maybe up here. Seems like it could be a good spot. Indeed it does. Food, trees. <gasps> Dory, I've been taken against my will. The last thing I remember is speaking to the outcast giant in the north, then some strange and loud sounds. 
gusts of wind and the next I knew I was being swirled up and up. I awoke on this strange island. The others I have met here call it Sipta. The lands are strange and my magic does not work. At least I have not figured out how to make it so. So I will continue trying. I'm doing my damnedest to figure a way off this island. The creatures here are vile and the strange surge of a storm that often occurs. Sorry, there's a strange surge of a storm that occurs often which unleashes even nastier beasts. I know there's magic afoot here, I just have to find it. It's been months since I saw you last. I hope you are well and everyone at home is safe. I cannot wait to get back and set foot on the hill again. Those creatures and you would be a welcome sight to behold. Have you learned any new feats of magic? I'm sure you have and one day perhaps you'll teach it to me. I've come close to finding out how to use some magic here. It only flickers here and there but it's something. If I'm able to stabilise the effects I might actually have a, a way home. Many months later. It's been a while since I last wrote and for good reasons. The little magic I am able to do here is strange. I have not figured out how to stabilise it. Yet, nor have I made any progress on the matter, not for lack, of, for lack of trying. I have been getting uneasy here. Surviving has become tedious. New people have arrived and have threatened my lands a few times now. Without the use of magic, I feel capable, incapable of protecting it. I'm going to try something out. I think I found a way back, but it will be dangerous. My magic is still unstable here, but the benefit outweighs the risk. In my eyes at this point, if it works, I shall return soon and meet you on the hill we call home. However, the risk is high and if this all goes wrong, well, life is short anyhow. If it comes to that, I want you to know a few things. I appreciate everything you have taught me. I continue to learn from you every day by remembering how you saw the world and ask myself what would Dory do in this situation. It has saved my life more than once here. I hope you'll be able to continue to spread your knowledge and kindness as you did to me. I was not always fond of how you did things, but I now understand why. Please share your wisdom with others you deem worthy and save someone else's life by doing so. I'm putting this letter inside a sealed bottle and bringing it with me. There is so much water here, I don't want it to get soaked should I need to swim. Take care, my friend, and live well. Perhaps one day we will meet again, Zedika. Oh my god. Oh, Dory, I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to tell him. How do I tell him this? 